Hey guys, welcome to July Favorites. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're talking about my favorite products for the month of July and I would love to know what are your favorite products currently and what were your favorite products for this summer, for the month of July. I love the summer months and let's go ahead and get started. I have a dream combo for the month of July, one that I have been using all the time, almost all the time, the whole month actually, and this is a Chanel combo. It's um, one of the Chanel cream bronzers in number 392, Soleitan medium bronze. This is the one that I use all the time and I like to combine this one with the water fresh blush in light peach. This is what I have today on my skin and it always gives me such a beautiful healthy looking skin. Now if you're interested to see the makeup look that I'm wearing today in this video I have a whole tutorial on this makeup look. This is my take on the viral latte makeup look which is basically like a luminous bronzy makeup look that TikTok likes to call the latte makeup look but this is seriously one of the best combinations that I have for my skin and this is not new actually. I have been using um, this combo with the regular size bronzer last year as well. I think that every summer this is the most beautiful combination for my skin tone in particular because it gives me this very healthy looking sunny skin and um, I like how the peach color here combines with the bronzer. And I have used also the palest shade bronzer, Chanel cream bronzer, but um, the palest shade just doesn't give me this very soft bronzed, almost like a caramel look. It's just that the medium bronzer looks so much better on my skin and the pale bronzer, the palest bronzer from Chanel, it somehow looks a little bit orangey on my skin. It doesn't give me this very healthy looking skin. Sometimes I like to use it on its own without foundation. Sometimes I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation here and there. But this has been the combination that I have been loving in the month of July. And I also shared with you in one of my previous videos, I shared with you the Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer. I really like the formulation of this stick bronzer from Rare Beauty. The only thing is that the color does not match my skin tone so beautifully and does not complement my skin tone so beautifully. So I would say that this is like the best product, beautifying product for my skin type in particular. And I also like to add a little bit of the Gucci Liquid Bronzer. Again, a very suitable product for the summer months for my skin tone. This one is um, one of my all time favorite products. I'm actually going through this one quite quickly. I'm definitely going to repurchase it. It can be worn under foundation or on top of foundation. It's just such a beautiful product. I love it. And for foundation, I have been back to an old favorite that I love to use in the summer months and this is the classic La Beige Healthy Glow Foundation from Chanel. This is a water-based foundation and it contains around 60% water. Now I like this one and I use mostly in the summer months, I use mostly this foundation, not the water fresh tint. As a lot of you know, I adore the water fresh tint, but it can be a little bit tricky on top of sunscreens. Whereas this one, it works beautifully on top of any sunscreens, most sunscreens that I have because it's very light, it's very liquidy. It is a lovely product that gives light coverage but can be built up to a medium coverage and it's a very light texture. I really like this one for the summer months because it gives me this um, feel of no makeup makeup. It looks exactly like skin. It somehow blends into my skin so beautifully and it does not contain oil which is always a huge advantage for me, especially in the summer months, because my skin tends to get oily. I live in a hot and humid climate and something like this just uh, works beautifully. The next product that I'm going to show you is a huge surprise for me. I did not expect to like this product as much as I like it, but this is the Westman Atelier Liquid Super Loaded Highlight. Um, and it's actually the, the whole name is uh, Westman Atelier Liquid Super Loaded, but this is basically the liquid version of their Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. It's a completely different product. I've talked about this in my videos, in a few of my videos. I have Pau de Rosé and like Westman Atelier usually um, 
Gucci Westman usually advises to, to use this product all over your skin, um, but I think that this works mostly for people who have dry skin, very dry skin. You can also use it beautifully under the eyes because this is the kind of product uh, similar to the by Terry CC brightening serums, but this one feels a lot more moisturizing. Now in terms of ingredients, this is like a skincare product. It's like a hybrid product. Still, have a look at the ingredient list in case you are sensitive to some of the ingredients because this is packed with a lot of skincare ingredients. With It has a blend of oils, it has squalane, which is great for dry skin and for all skin types overall and it has vitamin C. Now the form of vitamin C that it has is the one that is suitable for sensitive skin, but everyone's skin is different and unique and you might be sensitive to all kinds of skincare products. So I really like the fact that this is a product that is like a two in a one, it's a skincare and a beautifying product. For me personally, I have combination skin during the summer months, it's quite oily. And I was thinking that this was going to be a product that I was going to hate, I was not going to like, but I love it so much. And a little goes a long way for me. It does not work for me applied under foundation. I like to apply it as a last step of my makeup routine. I'm going to link to a video here where I show you how I like to use it. So I like to finish my, my whole makeup, apply powder, and then on top, I'm going to use just um, like a couple of drops and I'm going to blend it here on the high points of my face, on the nose, on the top of the lip. And in general, I'm going to rub a little bit between my fingers and just tap on strategic points of my face if I want my face to be, to get this beautiful glow. And it somehow makes my skin look more plump, more youthful. I love the effect that it gives to my skin. Now, I'm very tempted to buy Pau de Peche as well, but since the color is very subtle, I'm going to restrain myself for now. I'm going to resist the urge to buy Pau de Peche because I use it strategically. So for me, it doesn't really matter whether I'm going to use Pau de Peche or Pau de Rosé. I have Pau de Rosé and I use so little that it's going to last me for a very long time and I just don't want to have two products and I don't want to waste um, it's going to be a waste for me to have the two colors because pretty much when I blend it on the high points of my face, it's going to have the same effect. So I love this product a lot. I think it's worth trying this one. And then we are moving on to a couple of uh, three eyeshadow palettes. I have three eyeshadow palettes that I want to share with you that I have been loving. I was able to try the new Clé de Peau eyeshadow palettes and the two eyeshadow palettes that I have from Clé de Peau have been a win for me. These are the most beautiful eyeshadow palettes that I have. Some of, my, some of the most beautiful eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. I have number one and number three. I showed the, you both of the palettes in one of my videos. It's like a vlog kind of video. I'm going to link it for sure so that you can see. And I have been enjoying these palettes so much. I want to buy more from these Clé de Peau eyeshadow palettes. The formula is so gorgeous. They are very soft buttery, smooth, they blend so easily into the skin. I have a lot of color stories that I love from Clé de Peau. I actually like all color stories, but number one and number three definitely have been winners for me. They look so beautifully on my face. I absolutely love them. I could not recommend them enough. I know that they are very, very expensive, but I think that it's worth the splurge. Now, each of these um, eyeshadow palettes has a primer shade, which is this one here. This one is a primer shade, and then you have three colors. I think that you can create a lot of different looks with these eyeshadow palettes. If you have similar skin tone like mine, if you have fierce skin tone, I would definitely recommend trying Number one and number three, these just complement fair skin tones so beautifully. And then the other eyeshadow palette that I want to show you is an old favorite. I believe that I put this one in my favorites video every summer, but I want to be honest with you. This is what I love, this is what I use. And this is Chanel's Le Beige Intense Eyeshadow Palette. Now I purchased uh, two of the new eyeshadow palettes from Chanel, Les Quatre Ombres Besans, but I am still expecting them. They are going to have mineral pigment, so for sure I learned from a lot of you that the formula is very sheer. This one is to die for. I hope that Chanel are not going to discontinue. But still, just in case, I would like to recommend this one because it's such a beautiful summery palette. This is the Le Beige Intense. It's oldie but goody. And, or shall we say like oldie but goldie. It's really a gold eyeshadow palette that I love so much. I will always keep repurchasing this one because it just... 
it is the most beautiful eyeshadow palette for the summer months. The formula of this one is so smooth, soft, beautiful, and these gold colors with a touch of green, but I usually don't like green eyeshadows, but here we have this kind of a vintage gold that almost has a little bit of green, which looks so beautiful, so flattering, and um, each of these color colors can be used as one and done eye color, and I've done this so many times. Oh wow, it's so hot in here. I cannot use the air conditioning because it messes up with the mic, but um, it is so incredibly hot here. I have two lipsticks to show you and I have been using mostly these two lipsticks in the month of July. These are uh, some of my all-time favorite lipsticks. They are so effortless and beautiful. Sometimes I like to mix the two of them. If you are a regular to my channel, this is going to come as no surprise because I've shared these lipsticks in the past as well. But now I found a new way to use them. I like to, sometimes I like to mix them. So this is the Rouge Coco lipsticks from Chanel. And this is one of my favorite formulas from Chanel because they are hydrating, moisturizing, just like the lip balms. They are more moisturizing compared to the Rouge Allure lipsticks from Chanel. They are more shiny, more moisturizing. I have very sensitive lips and usually I don't like matte lipsticks because they tend to irritate my lips a little bit. But this is like my favorite formula because it gives me the feel of a lip balm and at the same time it gives me the color of a lipstick without it being too emollient or too glowy or too shiny. So that's why I love them so much. So I have 432 Cecile and 434 Mademoiselle. Now I have been repurchasing these lipsticks over the years. I absolutely love them. Cecile is more like this, almost like a frosty, beautiful pink color. And then Mademoiselle is a beautiful brown color, but with a little bit of almost like a cool toned brown color. Very, very beautiful. Now Mademoiselle is definitely a statement color for me, for my fair skin tone. And I found that if I mix it with Cecile, it just gives me a very unique, unique color. I have been enjoying these lipsticks a lot. Next, I started wearing again one of my all-time favorite perfumes, and this is Jean by Lanvin. This is one of the most beautiful, innocent perfumes. And another favorite of mine has been Chanel's Chance Au Tendre Eau de Parfum, along with the body lotion. Now, I have been loving I have been loving the body cream that comes with the Chanel fragrance. Now, all of these Fragrances, both of these fragrances are very light, feminine, girly perfumes that are so suitable for the summer months. They are very effortless. I think that they are crowd pleasers. But this one just, um, it smells so beautiful, especially in the summer months. I feel like this perfume is so long lasting during the summer months. I absolutely love the Chanel Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum. I do not love the Eau de Toilette. I like it, but I definitely prefer the Eau de Parfum because it has a lot more depth. It's a beautiful perfume. And then I have one last favorite. This one is from Westman Atelier, and this is the Peau de Rosé Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. Now, I really like this one in the summer months. And I like to use this one when I want to create a more cool toned look, uh, more of a pinkish look, when I want to have a little bit more freshness in my cheeks, when I don't create this kind of a bronzy look. But if I want to have a little bit more fresh look, I really like this um, tinted highlight from Westman Atelier. I like both Peau de Rosé and Peau de Peche, and I actually need to buy another one from Peau de Peche because it's the end of the summer. Now, something that I love about these highlighters is that even though this is a clean beauty brand, you can use them for 18 months. This is what it says here. And they really last for 18 months. So you can really enjoy the product for a long time. Uh, and with most clean beauty brands, you can only use the products for six months and they start to go bad. With this one, I like that you can use it for a long time and it really lasts for a very long time. I like this one a lot. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to read your comments. Let me know what are your favorite products and for the summer months and for the month of July and maybe the beginning of August. It is now the end of the summer. We already have seen all of the fall makeup collections and I'm so not ready for the fall season. I love my long hot summer days. I love the sunny days and yes, I'm not ready for this fall season still. I like to enjoy the makeup 
that is suitable for the summer season. I still don't want to buy the fall makeup collections. Of course, I'm going to buy some of the fall makeup collections. I'm going to review them. I saw that Dior have beautiful makeup collections for the fall season, but I still don't feel like pumpkin spice latte. I still don't feel the pumpkin season and I still want to enjoy the summer months and uh, the month of August. So once again, thank you so much for spending time with me and until next time, bye.